Okay, we're going to call this meeting to order. We have a sp special meeting early this evening to talk about the city manager's position. If we could all please stand, pledge for the, for the allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. If we could have a roll call. Certainly. Council Persons Bear? Here. Dupre? Is absent. Ross? Here. Salcedo? Here. Soar? Yes. Tobin? Here. Yes. And Mayor Higgins? Here. Okay. Um, we're here to discuss the city manager's position. Um, I, I, everybody had got the email and got the um, contract as I sent out, or as Brandon sent out, I'm assuming? Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, I've, it's very, you know, it's, it's true. Sometimes you look all over the world and you find what you really wanted was right here the whole time. Um, so we, uh, we're here to discuss uh, a position of city manager that we would also increase to be uh, in charge of city management and be the also in charge of financing. Um, so this would be a little, a little different than we've had in the past, but uh, something for the future and uh, we will also have to talk about in the future very quickly uh, about getting an assistant for the financial office as well. So we want to keep that in mind while we're discussing this office. Okay. Um, does anybody have any comments to, to start this off with? Sure, anybody? Through the, through the chair. Sure. I just want to say that I couldn't be happier to have uh, Lisa put, put her name in for the city manager position, I think she's gonna, uh, that she would do a very outstanding job. City chair? Yes. It took you so long. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you have to m mull over things for a while. I was kidding. Who's <laughs> <laughs> the chair you are? Unless yes. Marina, Councilwoman, are you down? Do you yes, I am. Thank you. This is not a closed session then, right? No. Okay. So for what I'm about to say has, is no reflection on the person running, okay? But if I remember the last meeting that we had, we were going to interview two individuals that had their prices set, true? And then we had an email suggesting that we email an ex-mayor for the position. We went around and we decided not to have that. And then we had an email saying that they wanted to interview him, this person, right? So we went through that, and then we got an email from the mayor suggesting that um, Ms. Griggs put her application in, and here we go. So my question is, were we going to interview her first, or then we get uh, a resume today? We already have a contract written up. I'm just saying, is this the process that we follow? This is... Um and no, no disrespect. No, just the process that we went through is. I thought we were going to interview three different people then, maybe four, but it turned out we're not interviewing nobody. Oh. Um, if you want to ask Lisa anything tonight, as part of an interview, that is a, that is what we're here for. Um, after seeing what we had uh, to come up to us, and then um, when Lisa came forward and she said she was interested, I took a poll of the council if they were interested 100% everyone said yes this is what we want and uh, frankly from the beginning I I'm when I, I went to Lisa but when we first had the opening and um, I believe she is qualified I know she has done the job in the past she's done the job this time for us she does an outstanding job I am here every day in City Hall, working with everybody, and I can tell you that she has respect of everybody in City Hall, which speaks mounds, because she's the person who has to tell them no when they ask them for money. So the fact that she can do that is something. Um, we do have her, her resume here, and, and we are going to, if anybody wants any questions to ask, now is the time to do that. And if we're not comfortable tonight, if anybody is not comfortable tonight, we're not going to vote for a contract. If everybody's comfortable after our first early meeting, then we'll put it on the agenda and then we'll vote. But I will not do that to anybody until we are firm 
and comfortable. Um, after talking with everybody, I was assured that this is our best candidate by far. She has the information. She has the knowledge of Lincoln Park. She knows how we work. That there was no doubt in my mind. If anybody does have a doubt, now is the time to bring it up. So if you have any questions, I'm going to start with the council president. Well, yeah, thank okay. you. So I agree with everything that you said, just so you know. I'm, okay. I'm just saying the process that we went through changed, and lo and behold, here it is. So I, I'll let other council members talk, and then we can perhaps talk about the contract if you'd like. Okay. okay. Does anybody have any questions for Lisa in an interview situation? To the chair. Yes. The um, the part that I'm questioning, how much did we spend, you know, and then I'm also looking at figures. You know I've been a proponent for a lot of money. I personally believe the starting number is too high. Um, the, our other superintendent or city manager left. He was at 105 plus 2 percent. Now all of a sudden we're going to go to 4 percent. I'm not comfortable with that. I'm just throwing things out there. You know, you tell me why, uh, well, and then how much did we spend on our Amy Cell talent? Uh, I wasn't happy at all from the beginning, as you know. Um, I'm going to tell you I wasn't happy at all. They, they gave, um, and I, my, my two colleagues here were there at the meeting and the, for the interview, and they did a great interview, and that was the last thing they did really good. Um, I, I, I was not satisfied with, with, with that company at all, um, and I'll just leave it at that. And, I'll, and I'm, one last thing, and I'll, then I'll let somebody else speak. Mm -hmm. But... You have negotiated contracts for everybody in the city, so you know what every. I mean, it's it's transparent, anyways. Right. But Brandon has represented all those groups, and then now Brandon's representing you again in a different spotlight. And I kind of, it. I'm not saying that that's there's anything illegal about it, but I'm. It well, doesn't look right. good. Okay, I'm going to answer that just if that's okay. Um, Brandon was not in the negotiations for the contract. It, uh, myself, Lisa, and Mr. Zelenek were there for the negotiations. I asked Brandon to look at the contract afterwards as being an unbiased person who has gone through negotiations for the city. And I asked him to go through the contract and then he wor gave us some wor wording better and sent it back. And that's, you know, that's what it was. So, so it was clear on that time. That's how that happened. Okay. Um, May I add something to that? Sure. Just for the benefit of council, because it involves the merging of two positions, which Mr. Fournier has had experience with in other communities, of two department heads into one position, and then looking to pass <coughs> off the balance of the finance to an assistant director from the classified employees of the appointees in the city at this time. Mr. Fortney has had experience in doing that, so we negotiated the contract. As far as I'm concerned, it's presented to council as it was presented through discussions with Ms. Griggs, with the mayor, and myself, and then given to Mr. Fournier to put in the language he finds appropriate. I have never negotiated contracts on behalf of the city in my extensive and boring tenure here. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Now, the other thing was is on the... Uh, um, uh, Sit the deputy finance director or whatever. Yes. Is that going to be a paid position or? Yes, how that, will be, that will be a paid position. So that's going to be an additional on top of the, well, the fee, correct? It would be additional, but it would be lower than the traditional finance director salary. So there would be a cost savings to the city overall. Mm. How would it be a savings if we're adding you and the, uh, at a higher rate? Plus the well, the city manager salary range was set up to 160. Not by us. Yes, it was it by was. council. Yeah, it was by us. Yeah. So if if another city manager came in at at the salary proposed in the contract, and then a deputy is appointed, there's about twenty five thousand dollars annually in savings. 
I'd also point out that um, there are other communities around here who have similar positions. Um, and what they are making uh, almost double. And one city is particularly smaller than us and is making considerably more. Um, we are in a good position to at, at, at this point to ask, we couldn't do what other cities are doing and what, uh, what we put on the table is something we can afford. And if I could, Your Honor. Well, are, are you done? Yes. Okay. And it's very much doable by, by Lisa to, to do the city manager position and the director of finance and operations. Is that a question? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I would not have proposed it if I didn't feel, and by having the deputy, some of the daily tasks, uh, I do a lot of, I call it grunt work as a, as a director. Some of those um, items would be passed off to the deputy. Okay. So to answer your question, Councilman Zor, you've, you're now taking the salary of the finance director and the salary of the city manager and combining that. So it is a cost savings. You, you, you remember, you've got to add benefits, vacation time, personal days, all well, of that. When we're negotiating. No, I'm just saying as far as the cost savings, because you're not, you're not talking two individuals, you're talking one. Oh, but we're talking about hiring a uh, assistant. Yes. Assistant. You're still saying that there's this huge cost savings. There is. There is. Because that individual will not make what a deputy, I'm sorry, what a finance director would. She is not making, if, if we just gave her what the past city manager got and what she makes now, we're making a savings. There's, there's no doubt. We're making, we'll, we'll be paying less than paying for two positions. Maureen, you were next. So um, you oversee a, a finance department now that has five employees. And when we hire a deputy finance director, that would be six employees. Or is the coordinator, the deputy, the finance coordinator, is that going to take the place of the deputy finance director? So the, account the accounting coordinator would still stay in place mm -hmm. and the deputy finance director would essentially fill partial, um, the partial place in my role. And then some, of, so the duties would be kind of segregated. So there will be a sixth employee in that right, department, correct. That department now. Correct. And the wages of that employee, even though it's not negotiated yet, is not going to be your fair, full salary as a finance director. No. No. Okay. And the city manager position is going to save us about thirty-five thousand compared to what James was getting. And that was just on base salary. Right. And then your your new deputy director of finance will be less than your position as finance director, so there will be a cost savings. Correct. Does that make sense? Mm. The numbers I saw was 105, this is what, where James was at. Right, so it's gonna Plus be about 35,000 more for Lisa to take that position. But the, her finance director position, that her wages in that will be eliminated and the deputy director position that we'll be hiring will not equal her finance director pay. It will be less than that, so there will be another savings there. For how long? As long as we hold that position as deputy finance director, we won't be hiring a finance director. Lisa right. will be holding that position and city manager position at the 140 pay rate. No disrespect. I'm no. No, just taken. bringing this up because I know that the people are going to ask us mm -hmm. you know no, absolutely. people hold us in and it's a critical time right now and right uh, yeah. you know uh, uh, it's important but holding two positions as city manager and finance director you know you can't just look at the one position <clears throat> excuse me as city manager it's going to be city manager and finance director so that's the extra salary is well compensated for those two positions mm -hmm. she'll be holding 
Through the chair, Your Honor, one final thing. Once yeah. again, I'm thrilled about Lisa. I'm excited. Historically, when we do contracts, his, normally the council will kind of get an idea, if we get to the DPS or the police, of what, what they want, what's their demands and stuff, and we have input. I, I, I didn't see no input in this situation. So there are some stuff in the contract that I noticed, and I'm not going to bring it up today. This is a public forum. It's public knowledge. But in the future, I would hope that the council would get a better understanding of when we do contracts. And I'm going to refer this to our city, our city attorney because he has been here long enough that he knows. Um, this is how city managers have always been negotiated because it's separate from everybody else. So it's the only way to, to do this. Um, and, and Ed, could you... Yes, and mayor, members of council, prior to forming the group that negotiated for the department heads, it was done right out here on the floor of the night. The mayor would come up with a proposal and council would approve it. The salary would be set with regard to, for example, my contract. The mayor will tell me, this is what we're going to offer you. Then he presents it to council. So it's been done, but your term would be a legal hodgepodge of ways. You can establish a procedure in the future, but then you become the negotiators bargaining with one of your department heads here. And if you set a salary, you set a rate, and you empower one individual to bring it back to council, your input in negotiations actually would be in either approving it or turning it down. I don't know that there's a better way, but at this time the mayor and I attempted to put it in a format so you could look it over if, as if you were a union bargaining committee to see what a negotiating committee had come up with, and if you approve it, you ratify it tonight and move on. And if there's a better way, I'll certainly accept it, but the mayor will tell you for when his mother was on council, it was always done that way, and we're pretty much told the night of appointment. That's it. This is what you get. And my rebuttal would be, though, if we're going to do the contract of the finance director, it would come to council, correct? The appointments come up with a salary ahead of time, and that's how they set hers all. So council votes on it the night when they're reappointed. I'm unaware of it ever being done differently, with the exception of when you got to the city managers here. Mayors or something I'm missing here because... No, this is how we... we well, if that's true, then, then yeah. that's true. Yeah. I mean, every time I'm here, I'm told this is what you're getting like it or leave. Or when right the not, I mean, when well, the department heads contracts came up, we got... Right. We, the, the, this, this time we, we went through... Well, okay, it increases in the past. Yes, correct. Right? Right? Yes, For the did. finance director and others, department heads. Yes, you True? Did, sir. That's the part that... It's a dual role, so I get it. But right. without ha any input, it just... Right. This, that's my point. And this that, time... I'm, I'm happy with... Well, how we move forward. Thank you, okay. Lisa. Congratulations. Well, now that you're happy, I'm going to sit down. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the, I, will, I will say that um, in the last council, um, that, that, that when the department heads came up, that the same thing came up. And this time around, um, we negotiated more. And we, we talked about it more in the back than we've ever had in the past. So this was a, there was a, a different setup and different stiffer. If we want to do something in the future for a city manager, then we could do that. Um, who's ever the, and the mayor and the council at the time will have to make that decision. To the chair? Yes. I, uh, I'm very happy with the, um, with the way we're moving forward. I, I think it's hard to put a dollar amount on institutional knowledge that Lisa has developed over her is it okay if I say decades of oh, many, yeah, of no, it's fine. It's, it's this, been a long time in this in the in this building. Mm -hmm. Thirty years, actually, total. And uh, I know in the private world, it's usually seen as a good sign when you're able to hire internally because you have been able to bring a person you know that started wherever they started, and they've learned, they've grown, they've gotten promotions. And they get end up getting hopefully re re rewarded, and that's why I'm I was very happy when I got news that you had uh, thrown your name in in the you know in the ring so to speak. Um, Amy Sell, yeah, it, it, it's a it's a shame, but that line item is a sunk cost, and there's nothing we can do about it now. So that doesn't really play into how I feel about this uh, si situation and I will say in the interview with uh, Amy Sal um, she told us about another city that she had worked with and she went through the whole process of bringing in people and they interviewed everybody and they went through a second interview and they interviewed everybody and then they hired somebody inside so this is something that happens in in this type of situation 
um, and, and it has happened again. And I mean, we did get the contract in our email last week. We had plenty of time to look, look it over. Like you said, it is a unique bargaining uh, situation because mm -hmm. your city manager is unlike any other in, you know, employee within, within the city limits. So I, I mean, Ed has been here for also a, a lot of years and I certainly trust his opinion when he says the, uh, a fair process, a fair transparent process uh, took place. And uh, that's all I have. I'm very comfortable moving forward. All right, with that being said. I have one more question. Okay. Um, it says that the um, job description, I'm assuming that has been rewritten to include both sides of this, the city manager and the finance director position. Yes. It says it's attached, it's not attached here. Can we yeah, get Yeah, that was the, the language that was in there, so you will get a copy of it. Get a copy yeah. of a new yeah. one, okay. It's just really going to be a combination of the, uh, the yeah. two. I just wanted to make sure that it was rewritten to match where, what you are going to be right. doing. Okay. To the, to the chair, one last question for yes. me. Um, did you ask for a car allowance in your? I did not. And the salary um, that I proposed was negotiated within the range that council had set. Um, so I felt, I did not feel appropriate at this time to ask for a car allowance. So I did not include that. Thank you. She will. May I ask that in the event the appointment is approved, that council be given a copy of the contract for their own edification yeah, once uh, the approval is given here? So they, I know you have it now. Yeah. If you want to see any changes, if there's anything you want, otherwise, if you have it now, make certain that you're satisfied with it. If you have it now, then we're fine. We have it. And and I will say that um, the city manager does some from time to time have to take longer trips. <laughs> and she would fall under the uh, city mileage, so she could ask for mileage. Um, it, it, any duck department head can do um, for that case. Um, I, I don't want to leave, leave her without, you know, being taken care of. So that can be, you know. All right. Um, with that being said, Ed, I'm going to ask everybody at this point, do we want to go ahead and vote on this tonight at the main uh, main uh, um, council meeting? Is everybody comfortable with it? Yes. Do we need a motion oh. to put that on the agenda? Oh, it's not a business meeting. It's not a business meeting, so we're just going to, we're taking a poll. We're not taking Actually, a vote. Actually, it was posted as a special oh, meeting. Right. Yeah. Oh, okay. So can, we can take a vote. So you I'm going to. You I'm can gonna, actually gonna, vote on her. We can do the resolution to appoint her now yeah. if you want. You can do it now? Yes, it's a, it was posted as a special meeting. And as a special meeting, you can take action. Well, as a... It was not posted as a study session. As a point of it, I would rather make it official during our official city council that, that's meeting. That's certainly just within your prerogative. I just wanted I'm you to I'm assuming more of the public I'm, are tuning in to our city council I'm going to make a motion that we put it on the agenda for tonight. If someone will second that. I'll, I'll second. second it. Okay. <laughs> Support by the full council? Yes. Is everybody comfortable with the full council? Okay, then it will be full council. And with that, I think we have all the business we need to. No, um, actually, we need to vote on we it. We need to take well, it. <laughs> Sorry. Well, I hate to be a right. stickler, but. Okay. Um, so, Rules. Mayor Higgins? Yes. Councilperson Salcedo? Yes. Tobin? Yes. Ross? Yes. Bear? Yes. And Zor? Yes. <laughs> Sorry, I'm oh, trying nice. to go in. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I have some old feel. business. Anybody had a bad day today, I brought a pair of glasses. For you. <laughs> <laughs> Did you poke holes in them? <laughs> <laughs> With that, we'll take a, a break until 7 o'clock so everybody can relax. Do you want to resolve Brandon, I was 6.30, fantastic. Brandon, I was expecting...